100 episodes. I'm not sure I thought we'd ever get here. I think we've joined a small group of shows around the world that get to that point, so I'm completely thrilled. It's a great thing for us, the cast and crew and everybody, but it's a great thing for Canadian TV in general that we could still generate the types of shows that are not being made completely because they have to be made. They're being made because we have a loyal audience who is probably willing to travel with us for another hundred episodes. I think we knew it was there basically right when we shot the first episode. We could see that the characters we created were actually being realized almost immediately by Johnny Harris as Crabtree and Tom as Inspector Brackman. and Yannick came to the role perfectly as the tail end. We knew that we had the potential for a hit. It's astonishing. I, it never stops being exciting. Every year I think, oh yeah, I'm really used to it. And it's always exciting. Look what I caught. <laughs> Well, my absolute favorite episode is Murdoch Ahoy because I love the Titanic, so of course I was down for that. And then that's actually probably one of my favorite outfits is that green suit that she wears on there. My absolute favorite moment in this entire um, voyage has been the day that I found out that CBC was going to be carrying Murdoch onward and we were going to be able to really go for it and have a lot of support it was probably one of the greatest days of my life. Cheers. When Murdoch is on, the house stops, I don't answer the phone, I don't talk to anybody. It's Murdoch. <laughs> okay, new phone, new phone, Mulligan. One of my all-time favorite visuals on Murdoch was from Glass Ceiling, way back in season one. A trunk is delivered to the station house, and inside is the alabaster body of a dead man. We actually used a contortionist to squeeze a body inside a trunk. There was one moment in season two was on the episode Mild Mild West. We needed a scene where Murdoch has to hop on a horse and go and rope a bad guy. And Yannick, with no time left in the day, the light was fading, was able to hop on a horse, ride it perfectly with his lariat swinging, roped the extra or the bad guy, and it worked in one take, and it was brilliant. Murdoch. You're just one surprise after another, me old mucker. When Murdoch first drives the electric car at 55 miles an hour and is so incredibly excited, and we get to see the boy and the man, it's very charming. Welcome to Pendrick headquarters. I had it up to 55 miles per hour. I love Julia, because <laughs> she's just a really strong female character, and she's not afraid to speak her mind in a time where it wasn't really women were supposed to speak their minds, so I really like that about her. We, last year, some of you may remember, did a fabulous episode at the beach. We spent a lot of time at the beach. We had murders at the beach. We had romantic evenings at the beach. It was a really great location. But also, at the time, it was really stunning weather. It kind of reminded me of Australia. Getting in the water was gorgeous. I absolutely loved it. Seeing George do Kung Fu last year was pretty awesome. <laughs> One of my favorite moments shooting Murdoch Mysteries was in Penetanguishing, Ontario. We retrofitted an old boat and Crabtree's done up in an old-time Bell diving helmet to look for treasure. And I actually got lowered in a cage into freezing cold Lake Ontario. So in a way it was an awful thing, but in a way it was a lot of fun. My favorite scene uh, is actually from last season. It's from Loch Ness Murdoch, and it's a scene in which Bracken Reed is still convinced that he saw a Loch Ness monster, and Crabtree, of all people, is completely skeptical. Uh, sirs, perhaps what you saw was a very, very large fish. It, it was, was not, not a fish. fish. I think it's the ghost of Queen's Park that's my favorite so far, just because I'm always in for a little bit of supernatural. One of my favorite Murdoch moments, at least one of our characters, was the automaton, who was sort of a steampunk, steam-powered robot. It was really cool. The lighting was fantastic, and, and uh, we had a great location in Coburg, and it really felt like uh, we were doing something pretty fun and exciting that day. When uh, Helen was buried underground, and we had to find her before she dies, and, and Yannick's acting his heart acts, he's just found the love of his life, and he's rescued her. Meanwhile, me and Johnny are playing air guitars with the shovels. 
my favorite place that we've shot on Murdoch. And Yannick, I can see you right behind me, <laughs> is um, Woodlands Estates, which is in Barrie. It's a beautiful, massive mansion right on the water. And we did the croquet episode there. We've done the bicycle episode there. And it's just a very magical place. Ah, oh, sorry. One of my favorite moments was when we went to Bristol to shoot. Um, it was great just to meet the British fans and to tour around England. My favorite episode of all time is probably Midnight Train to Kingston because even though James Gillies is like a horrible murder psychopath, I still kind of like him as a character because he's so sassy. I do love train rides. Don't you, detective? When Murdoch proposed, <laughs> waiting so long for that, <laughs> and when it happened, it was just tears. <laughs> I don't want just a few months of happiness. I want a lifetime. Ask me again, will you? Uh, uh, Julia Ogden, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? William Murdoch, will you do me the honor of becoming my husband? I will. I will. My favorite Murdoch moment is actually from the very first episode, uh, Power. At the very end, Nikola Tesla broadcasts a transmission to Murdoch saying, we are men of the future. It foreshadowed, of course, the future technology, the changes that would come, but it also foreshadowed for us the uh, success of the show. And I don't think that we ever in our wildest dreams thought we'd be as successful as we are. My favorite Murdoch moment 13 years ago when a writer-director friend of mine, Cal Coons, walked into my office and he said, oh, there's a series of books on your desk, have you read them? And I said, no, not yet. And he said, oh, I think you should read them. I think there might be something there. And those books were the books of Maureen Jennings. And uh, we did, in fact, option those books. I read them. I liked them. Uh, we went on to make three movies based on uh, Maureen's books, and of course that has inspired the series. So um, thank you, Maureen. Um, thank you, everybody, the fans. Uh, it's a great day today. We are men of the future, Detective Murdoch. And what a future it shall be. Yes. What a future it shall be.